Hello my friends, Paul here in the Rojobi Music Workshop and welcome to part 5 of the 5 string banjo build. Okay, so I uh, can't remember where I was up to in the previous episode. I think um, uh, I'd, I'd scalloped the, the end of the fretboard, drilled the pilot holes for the uh, tuning pegs and um, done most of the final shaping. Um, so now, uh, I've off camera, I've finished all of the sanding and um, I've treated the whole neck twice with the boiled linseed oil. So, uh, you know, as, as I normally like, um, you know, it's, it's a matte finish, I prefer a matte finish personally. Um, the fretboard looks really nice now and there's the, the scallop at the end. Um, so yeah, I mean the, the, the neck is now finished, it's ready to go. And uh, also since the last video the uh, tuners I've been waiting for have finally arrived. Um, they were not expensive but not inexpensive um, and I've got to be honest I, I am a little bit disappointed. A couple of them are a little bit notchy in one place when you turn them so there's probably uh, a worm gear inside. Or, or the cog gear is, you know, not quite perfect, um, but there's not much I can do about it now. I'm not going to send them back and, you know, get another set because I'll probably end up with the same problem. So, um, you know, I'm just going to stick with them. Then they're, they're, they're okay, and I think uh, in time they'll sort of, you know, they'll grind in a bit and be okay. I have put some uh, three-in-one oil in all of the tuners just to make sure there's no or not too much metal grinding against metal and wearing away, so they should be okay. Uh, okay, so, um, as I said, the, 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 neck, the neck is finished, um, sanded and oiled. A few other things I've also done. I have uh, test fitted the tuners, uh, it, so I had to, you know, drill out the holes bigger to accept the tuners. And let me just show you quickly um, on one of these tuners, that's the fifth tuner. So um, on the the inside, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There is a tiny little nub there. Can you see that? You should be able to just about. It's a little little spike, and that you know sits into the wood, so that when you're tightening it up, and obviously when you're using the tuners, they don't have a tendency to spin. So that's in the back, and I've, I've uh, pre-made those holes um, just above where the tuners go. Um, you know, so I, I wanted to test, test fit the tuners to make sure they were okay, you know, and I wasn't having to basically go back to square one, but they, they seem fine. So um, I've dr drilled out the holes for the tuners and uh, got the, the uh, locating pin holes um, drilled out there as well. A uh, couple of other things I've done. The um, fifth string tuning peg hole, um, I've drilled it almost to size and reamed it. So it, it's, it's almost to size and it's got the taper inside. You're not going to be able to see that. But I've re now, what I use to ream it, ream it out, is. Um, I don't know if you'd seen before, but I had one of these um, just ordinary generic reamers. This is actually a new one because I sacrificed the old one by cutting it down to uh, make it suitable for banjo fifth string tu uh, tuning peg hole. Now I didn't, I, I left this a little bit longer than it should be. Um, I thought I might have to cut a bit more off, but having made and reamed the hole, it seems to be about right. And the reason I use this one is because, again, you're not really going to be able to see it, but the taper is exactly right for uh, banjo fifth string tuning pegs. So I sacrificed this one by cutting it down to make a fifth string tuning peg reamer. And I bought uh, a new one to replace it. And I put my little wooden handle on like I normally do. Actually, um, I bought two of them. So there's another one in there. Um, just in case I have to sacrifice another one for anything else. And um, these uh, taper from, 
from 3 to 13 millimetres. Um, I haven't actually measured the, the, um, the violin one that I bought recently, um, but it's, it's, a, it's a shallower taper, if that makes sense. It doesn't taper so quickly. Uh, so these, these are 3 to 13 millimetres. Um, I'm also going to get another one, which is 6 to 16 millimetres, so a little bit bigger. Um, but that should mean that it's uh, the same taper, it's just, you know, it's, it's bigger in diameter. Okay, so that's that. So I want to fit the fifth, oh, sorry, one more thing I've done. So yeah, I've drilled up and reamed the hole for the tuner. I've also made a hole here to fit the fifth string nut. Now let me just show you on my other banjo, um, the fifth string, it's, it's a little bit quirky. So, you know, you have to tune her halfway up the neck, as it were. And also, you may be able to see just there, there's um, a nut. So the string comes from the tuner, goes through a slot in that nut, and then sits on that fret. So that's to hold it in the correct position, you know, sort of across the board, as it were. Uh, and then it sits on that nut, um, sorry, on that fret there, which effectively makes that the nut for the fifth string. But this, is, I'm, so this is basically, it's not really a nut, it's more of a guide, really. So um, I've uh, cut the hole in the fretboard after doing some careful measurements. Um, so I've cut the hole in the fretboard, in this one, just there, for the fifth string nut effectively. Now I'm not going to make it out of bone like, like they normally are or even plastic sometimes. I'm going to use a slot headed screw um, which I've already prepared. Uh, I found one that's the right, you know, the right thickness, the right length, <coughs> the right type of little domed head on it. Um, it was actually a, a little Phillips screw but I, I cut um, a slot right away across it and filed it so there's no sharp edges and that's what I'm going to use for my fifth string nut. But uh, I don't need to fit that just yet. What I do need to fit is the tuning peg. So let me just turn the camera down a bit. And uh, let's just position this within the camera. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay. So the light's not great in here. I don't use the studio lights all the time because... They're hot. <laughs> so, uh, to fit the uh, fifth string tuning peg, um, you'll so you'll see on the on the shaft that goes into the the neck, it's you can't really see it too well, but it's tapered and it's also splined, so that it you know sort of basically cuts into the wood and holds it, holds itself in place. Generally, you don't glue these in. They're, they're supposed to be just a taper wedge fit. So that if you need to take it out at any point to, to replace it, whatever, they should <coughs> they should pull out pull out relatively easily. So they shouldn't be glued in. So I'm not going to glue this one in. And also, when I put it in, I don't want the the tuning post to be kind of straight up like that. I want it to to angle forward a bit. That's the way they're they're fitted so that it angles forward a bit. So it's kind of on a not really 45 degrees but it, it's not straight up it, it basically leans back away from the nut as it were so um, I may have to ream the hole out a little bit more uh, with my trusty little reamer but it will actually push in um, almost halfway before it gets tight so I might be able to get that in Hopefully I can. Now, I'm going to rest it on this neck block here, just to support it while I uh, start to put that in. So I've got to find the right angle. Let me just check that against the other banjo. So, yeah, okay. Mm, okay. Right, so I think I know what angle I need to put that in at. It's about, about like that, I would say. Mm, maybe forward a bit more. 
like that. Okay, let's just check that against the other one. It's actually a little bit more forward than that one. So let me just adjust that a little bit. Okay, that looks about right. Compared to that one anyway, so hopefully that should be the right angle. So <coughs> I'm going to take my rubber mallet and start to try and push that in now. Okay, hopefully I don't break anything. So, you know, you've got to be careful. It's got to be the hole's got to be big enough to, so that you can tap it in gently, uh, but not so big that it ends up loose. Now, I do have to be careful. There's a possibility of damaging the tuna, or much worse still, splitting the wood of the neck. So, here we go. Let's just give that a few little taps. really a bit nervous about tapping it too hard but I think I've got to give it a little bit of beans and it might just go yeah it's almost there it's not far off yes yeah, I don't know I think we'll be all right I've just got to commit to it <laughs> Almost there. It's got about, I'd say, two millimeters or so to go. <coughs> Let's just commit to it. Here we go. I'm reluctant to hit that any harder. I think I'm going to try and pull that out and uh, ream that hole a bit more. Let's see if it'll come out now. Probably not. Hmm, okay. Let me try another method. Um, get a little piece of wood. I have one here just now. Okay, let's try that one. Just put that on the edge of the tuner there. Use a, a metal hammer. Try and strike that home a bit further. going. Doesn't have far to go. So far I haven't damaged the tuner, which is good. So close. <laughs> Try again with a... Actually, what I'm going to do quickly is just take that screw out, take the button off, because uh, if anything's going to break first, it will be that probably plastic button. There we go. Okay. I'll put the screw back in. Actually, let me try that piece of wood now on that side. I've got more room to do it now. Literally about a millimeter away now. Okay, that is almost there. Very nearly there now. So I'm, I'm glad that it's gone in, you know, nice and tight. Getting it out is going to be a nightmare if I ever have to, but there you go. Hopefully it should never need to come out. Okay, it needs to go just a fraction more if I can get it to go. I think that's about as far as I'm going to get it. Let me just check that against the other one again. It does seem to be a thicker, a thicker um, body on the, the actual tuner part of this, so it's slightly different, but I'd say that's probably as good as I'm going to get. 
and it is good. So we'll just make sure it still turns all right, which it does. That's awesome. Let me just see if I can tap it a little bit more. Uh, I'm not going to get much more out, out of it because at the at the back here it's pretty much touching the wood, so I don't think that's going to go anymore. Let me just check that against the other one again. I think that's good to go, to be honest. I don't want to tempt fate, risk causing any damage. I'll just make sure I, I'm happy with it. Split the wood now, doesn't matter. Sacrificial piece of wood, I'd rather break that than my tuna or the neck. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's uh, in as much as it's going to go. Good, nice. Okay, so I'm just going to put the button back on, make sure everything's still good. Still seems to be turning just fine, so there's the cutaway and it's that side. There we go. Screw in. Yeah, to be honest, that was one that was one of the parts of this job I've been most nervous about because <coughs> it can easily go wrong. It's a little bit tight, just slacken that screw off a touch. Still a bit tight, but yeah, all good, nice. Okay, that's the fifth string tuner in then, very good. Okay, so, uh, what to do next? I think I'm going to just put that, that um, screw in there that I'm using as the nut and just test fit the string against it <coughs> just to see what alignment looks like okay so again I don't think you're going to be able to see it but there's my little screw um, little wood screw and yeah I doubt you can see that but I've cut a little slot in there so my screwdriver that time's okay Right, so let me just carefully put that in there, and I have to screw it in all the way to the bottom, so that it literally bottoms out, um, so that the slot of this screw is lower than the fret next to it, because as I said, the string has to sit actually on the fret. Okay, so all the way home, and just line it up with where it's going to take the string to the tuner. Touch more. Right, let me just... So I've, I've found a um, string that I'm going to use for the fifth string. As I said, this is going nylon, not steel strings. <coughs> now, this, this is um, um, a, a, a ukulele string that I hadn't used, but it was out of a set that I did use some other strings from. So this is good that I found this and I don't have to, you know, start another set just for one string. So let me just line that up. I'm just going to put the string through the hole in the tuner, in the tuning post, and then loop it back and onto that nut and then the first fret. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you'll see this, it should be okay. So the string comes from the tuning post through the slot in that little screw and then over the first, over the, well, technically the first fret for the fifth string. And uh, yeah, that looks quite good. Quite happy with that. Seems to have gone rather well. So, um, I might as well leave that screw in now. I, I might need to just tweak the angle of it a bit, but it does look, looks about right to me. 
and as I said it now allows the string to sit on top of the, the fret next to it or behind it if you prefer Okay, I'm just playing with the angle of that screw a little bit. Okay, that looks about right. Again, I'll, I'll probably adjust it again later on. Okay, so that's the fifth string tuner and the nut in place. Next is the rest of the tuners. <coughs> I, I do like these, these, um, you know, these, these style of tuners. They're so easy to fit apart from anything else you know as long as you've got the hole the right size and you've got your little locating pin and like the um, guitar tuners I'll just open this other little bag okay you've, you've got the, the nut type thing that, that sort of fits over the shaft and then screws into the back, back of the body um, with, with a little washer as well I, I like these they're easy to fit and they work well Okay, so let's put uh, the first tuner in, like so, find the locating pin, there we go, so even with that, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't fall out, so just uh, put the washer on, put the nut on loosely on top, just so nothing falls out. What are we doing for time? Okay, time's getting a bit beyond us, okay, next one. doing this at an angle so you can see what I'm doing it's a bit, little bit awkward for me but as I said these tuners are really easy to fit so not too bad okay next one okay washer nut Last one. Come on, would be the last one that's giving me a problem. There we go, that's in. Washer, nut. Yeah, I just switched the charge wrong, so I see my battery's about to die, die so. Okay. So now I need a 10 mil spanner. Oh no, where's my 10 mil? <laughs> Who's nicked me 10 mil? I had it here. This is always the way. <laughs> Where are you, 10 mil spanner? Why do I always do this? This is so annoying. Okay, never mind, I'll use my adjustable. Trusty adjusty. Just as good. Okay, so just tighten those nuts down. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing now. Right, tighten the nuts down. Just just nip them up for now. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tighten, tighten them, just, just to hold them in place. cross-threaded. Let me just take that out, try again. Don't want to bust anything. I shouldn't have done. It's all the way in. Very fine threads on these though, so you've got to be a bit careful. Okay, so that's now all of the rest of the tuners in. It looks rather good. 
Okay, so we've now got all of the tuners in. There's the fifth string tuner and the other four tuners all looking rather nice. I haven't, as I said, I haven't over tightened those nuts just yet, just, just to hold everything in place. So, uh, the next stage will be to do the, mes the rest of the um, assembling, which will be in part six. Okay, so um, once again, I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. I'm really enjoying making another banjo. And uh, it's, you know, we're fairly near completion. We're getting towards, um, you know, the final build. And, uh, yeah, we're ready to go. So, please look after yourselves, look after each other. We will see you soon. Peace out.